Hi, I'm Cindy Abbott Leitro for Behind the Camera, and today I'm with John Percy, who is the president and CEO of Destination Niagara USA. You did right. You did, I got good. It right. You did uh, good. Well, yeah. you did go through a name change, so That's it's, right. we did. it's a right. little bit different. Right. But one of the reasons we wanted to do this, John, is uh, the Film Commission really, you know, wouldn't exist if it didn't have this collaboration of funders. And right. Destination Niagara is certainly one of them, as well as Erie County and the City of Buffalo. What does the Film Commission they'll represent for you some of the things that help you in in what you do because you're really a, what a marketing organization yeah it's a destination marketing organization so we market you know Niagara County to the world to bring inbound visitation um, and Tim Clark and 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 you at the helm on the board and and just having that organization um, the Film Commission representing us around the world and bringing films here we are on a set today I'm sure we're going to talk about that. Um, but, you know, to have them representing us, bringing in the film crews, you know, small to large, um, from little to big, you know, all kinds of, of film crews, whether it's television or, you know, movies, um, there's an immediate impact um, from the crews that are here, the large crews that come in and stay a multitude of nights in our lodging properties. Um, they eat here. Um, they they. Um, purchase food and beverage for the crews, um, you know, just the shopping they do, uh, you know, the immediate impact um, is excellent. And then the, the real impact comes later, you know, when the film is, is released um, and it's been filmed here in, in Niagara Falls or Buffalo or somewhere in the region uh, is beneficial because we could not pay for that kind of coverage. Well, I was talking to Rich Wall from the, the commission uh, before we started right. taping, right. and I said to him, how many are here? Because sometimes right. it's, you know, like here, we have you and me, right. <laughs> right. but there are this, this, uh, this shooting, this is Wolf Boy, this set of Wolf Boy that, you yeah. know, is at a, a crazy uh, carnival <laughs> right. that, they, that they've set up behind the summer. I know the they summer. think you and I are at Erie yeah, County yeah. Fair here or something, we're, right? Yeah. We're behind the uh, Summer Park Mall. And this is a large movie scene. Uh, and again, the amount of, of money that's being spent in Niagara County right now, I'm most appreciative of. And, and one of the things that seems to be a common theme, and it's not like, you know, patting our backs, but right. there is this sort of sense of hospitality, and, and it's sometimes the things that are the least obvious right. become the answer to what the film companies want. Right, I agree. And I think, you know, Tim and Rich, you know, have scouted and found the most unique. And he was, we were texting or emailing back the other day and just asking for a replacement of something. And he was looking for suggestions and we were throwing out suggestions. And I wasn't even throwing out suggestions for Niagara County. I just remembered some places because um, uh, they lost a location, another location in Erie County. Because um, again, it, it benefits this entire region and, and um, is a great return on investment because we don't spend a lot. I mean, we, we'd we love to give more and we hopefully will someday in the future, um, but there's not a huge amount invested in it. And Tim could use a ton, Tim and Rich could use a ton more because um, that would garner more for us. Um, but the return is 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 so much, it's huge compared to what is invested. And I think also that what we hear is that we try to solve the problems, you know. Uh, we don't just sign them up and say, okay, here's your right. lot, and if there's a problem, right. leave them on their own. No. That there seems to be a way in which if we can help them, we can't. Uh, I was much. just thinking though, you, you talked about uh, small and large television right. movie uh, when Melissa McCarthy shot oh, at the falls. It's wonderful. I just saw the movie again the other night. I was watching Tammy, and I love it because I was towards the end of the movie uh, on television, and I was just flipping channels and and got to see the ending segment again. And, you know, and and, and Rich and, and Tim invited me on on set that day, and we had a private party for Melissa and her entire crew um, the night before. But that coverage of her standing on the observation deck uh, and and being down at the Cave of the Winds and all that, even if it was just you know five ten minutes. Uh, again, we could not pay for that coverage because, you know, she uses the words, isn't this wonderful? We're in Niagara Falls. <laughs> you know, this is a star. And then while they're here, we talked about this in the office, when they're tweeting, if the stars that have been here, we had Kate Hudson here 
doing something in the region, and she was tweeting from the Maid of the Mist. You know, that's ideal, you right. know, to have that kind of social media reach from Kate Hudson or any star, Melissa McCarthy, um, is is just ideal for us, and we love that. And that's just even much more reach than we had planned on just from the movie set and the, and the economic benefits. Have you seen a big change in the way, for instance, you are bored or the way people react to filmmaking? Because I remember yeah. when we first started this, right. everyone was sort of thinking, you know, it's just right. sort of this... Uh, Right. glitzy sort of fun thing. They yeah. didn't think of it as an actual uh, economic impact, right. Right. impactor, I right. don't know what yeah. the correct word is, <laughs> yeah. but that something that really creates jobs and that right. now people are right. seeing that you're bringing people from all over right. the world in and they're, they're, you know, paying people to do things here in Niagara Falls. Well, I agree. And the people that get hired locally, it's mm -hmm. not just the crews arriving in, but they hire, you know, from outside. I think um, they are, and, and we do a, a sort of a glitzy annual report, and, and, and part, there's a whole page now devoted to the Buffalo Niagara Film Commission. And Rich and Tim have, and have done an excellent job of getting us annual report numbers on the impact from the year prior. So I think now that it's in print and, and, and my board is seeing that and we report on that as, as part of our investment uh, and the return that we saw just here in Niagara County, um, they are noticing that and it is um, uh, impactful even in the eyes of my board and the locals not only does my end report go to the board it goes to the county legislature it goes to the city councils of niagara falls and city of lockport um, and some films have been done in lockport um, tim we've done some um, what was it sharknado was oh done. i, I love yeah. that and, 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 and in fact and, you know. in fact i got i remember when i was doing the we were doing a uh, a tour of yeah. the caves yeah. you know where sharknado took place and even at that time uh rich and tib were working because they were getting this thing saying we need to find a swimming pool and they right. even had the mayor of knock lockport you know working on saying well wait a second i think right. there's an indoor swimming pool here or there's an indoor swimming pool there so i think what's interesting is the region is big, it is big. but right. it's small in the sense that you know people operate that small town way of sort of trying to help, help one another find. Is, and Mayor McCaffrey did. I mean, yeah. stepping up to the plate, and, and and she was present and got to witness it and realize that even in their small hamlet, if you will, of of the city of Lockport, that that was impacted, and now there's this cult following of Sharknadoes <laughs> and, and or Sharknado people and they want to see the sights. It's odd, but that is what happens. And so that's great. In fact, John, uh, there have actually been four Sharknadoes and the last one was in Niagara Falls. And you are correct. And I um, forgot uh, to even mention that because it's the climatic scene, uh, you know, culminates uh, in Niagara Falls. So, it, you know, not only did it happen in Sharknado 2 in Lockport, but Sharknado <laughs> 4. I mean, so you can tell I'm not a groupie, but, you know, uh, happy that it was filmed here. And, and Wait again, till the so, 8th yeah. and the 9th and yeah, the 10th. Yeah, 8th and 9th, yeah, yeah, we'll be all over it. <laughs> uh, Tim, years ago, did um, The Office, and when that was filmed in Niagara Falls, and, and the scene in the Red Coach, and people hear about that, and they still, you know, almost want to touch the seat where they, you know, sat in the Red Coach. It's <laughs> odd, um, but there are those groupies, and, and love it. And again, that is impactful to us because I can't afford that network coverage of The Office when it was filmed and, and also when it's aired on the network um, and repeated, um, that's great coverage um, for this destination. It's wonderful. Well, and of course, for us, it's great because we are we are lucky in New York State that we do have the film tax credits, and that's part of the reason we mm -hmm. like to do these interviews, because that is one of the big attractions for film companies that Very come much. here and look. Um, certainly, they need to mm -hmm. find the, uh, the location, and they have to find skilled workers right. to do it. Right. But, uh, but look I, at the cause and effect of that, even yeah. since a tax film or the, the, the tax credit on, on films and, and filming here in New York State, that we can show how much more we've garnered as a result of that tax credit. So, so it's, a, yeah. it's a great return it's on win -win. investment. Well, yeah. I can't thank you enough for your support for all it's the years uh, in yeah. supporting the, the film company. And uh, we hope that we have many more years to, uh, to, I hope so to too. work together yes. and more I successful so years. Yeah. But
uh, we great. are on the set of Wolf Boy, uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, <laughs> I, I'm not sure what's going to happen to it, but it's kind of fun on a beautiful, uh, a beautiful, typical day in western New York yes, to sit is. here and talk about yeah. filmmaking. It's great. So we will see you next on Behind the Camera. I'm Cindy Abbott-Leitro.